Flux. 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 Everyone uses Flux for soldering, and there are hundreds of brands out there. So how do you know which one is the best for you? Well, let's see what the experts have to say. Amtec NC559. Amtec559. Everybody is talking about Amtec NC559. This Flux has instantly become an industry standard until Tim Herman from TCRS Circuit launched a video comparing a new Flux, the TCRS Citraflow, to the infamous NC559. And from the tests, it became clear that Amtec was not the best Flux anymore. The TCRS Flux actually beat the Amtec. So I picked up a tube and something which I noticed <laughs> is that both the Amtec and the TCRS Flux, they cost about $13. My old Flux was $2. So I decided to find a budget alternative for people who aren't soldering as frequently. And I landed on the UG78 from a company called Ugain. Ugain is a pretty obscure company, but the Flux they make, it looks really cool. I wanted to compare the two so you can figure out which one of the two is right for you. We're gonna be judging on three criteria, the syringe, formula, and the smell. Now syringe wise, the TCRS Flux is in a pretty unconventional syringe. The syringe is in a way that when you press the plunger, the flux just keeps coming out. It doesn't stop. If you want to stop the flux, you have to pull back on the syringe. Now this definitely took some time to get used to. And I ended up reaching out to TCRS circuit and Tim Herman replied. He was like, hey, if there was a problem, we'll send you a new one. Don't worry about it. The customer service, absolutely fantastic. Now the U gain is exactly what you'd expect. You press, you let go, the flux stops. I'd say the U gain is a lot easier to use than the TCRS flux formula. I mean, what's the point of a flux if it can't make the solder flow? So we have two identical iPhone boards. We're going to be judging on how long it takes for the flux to oxidize. So starting with the TCRS, I made the puffy pillows and then I started going back and forth, back and forth. And the TCRS flux lasted one minute and 25 seconds until it completely oxidized. That means that you can keep your iron on the flux, the same flux, and it'll last that long. Now the U-Gain lasted 55 Five seconds in the same test. Not bad at all. At four dollars and you're getting the same amount as the more expensive flux. The winner for formula is without doubt TCRS. Now smell wise. The TCRS Citra Flow has a citrus smell. I know, crazy, right? And I thought it was delightful. Now the U gain doesn't have a smell at all. It's pretty much odorless. Now, if you have a fume extractor, it doesn't really make a difference. So it's a tie for smell. So in conclusion, the TCRS is the best of the best. The U-Gain was and is a budget alternative. At this point, it's up to you to look at which ones you like and decide which flux is right for you. I've linked both of them in the description. And that's it. This has been Harry's Workshop. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next one.